Good morning. Today we are testing the probably the two most efficient cars there is. Uh, it's the Ionic 2018 Ionic. It has um, a smaller battery than the new one, than the 2019 version. It's uh, 28 kilowatt hours um, compared to 38, but it does charge a lot faster than the old one. So. This one is considered one of the most efficient cars. This one, when I tested this, it was so efficient that I actually thought the measurement was incorrect. And um, today, I want to see which one is uh, its most efficient. So, we're going to drive uh, for about 110 kilometers. Uh, we're going to drive from here, from um, uh, Kvellandstrand uh, ferry to Circle K Ålgård. Uh, as I said, it's about 110 kilometers. Uh, we're going to drive them in normal mode, uh, no eco mode or anything. And um, yeah, in the end, we're just going to see. We're going to use the in onboard car measurement system because I don't really have any app for the EUP um, that works properly. So, um, yeah, I'm also going to tag a bit behind that car so we avoid drafting effects and we're going to both have the air conditioning set to 22 degrees just to make sure it's um, it's as equal as possible and since we're driving at the same time the conditions will be the same so the absolute consumption won't matter as much it's the delta that is the um, uh, that we want to see here which one is most efficient <laughs> so let's go Uh, we've driven about 25 kilometers um, and I need to buy something to drink so we figured we'll just stop here for now uh, but I'm gonna check the consumption so far the Ionic is at 140, uh, 114 watt hours per kilometers which is really low <laughs> but we did um, draft a bit uh, behind a huge truck, but we tried to keep away from it, but uh, hopefully it didn't skew the consumption too much. But uh, let's check the E-Up. Right, and this is the E-Up, and here you can see the consumption is 104 watt hours per kilometer, so that means the E-Up has a slight lead. It's about 10% more efficient with 10 watt hours per kilometer. Uh, hopefully it's not the uh, truck, <laughs> we'll see. Alright, uh, it's time for a consumption check. I'm going to call up the car in front of me. But as you can see, there's a lot of traffic and um, the, the biggest factor here is probably, or the, the, the biggest um, uncontrolled factor, <laughs> you could say, is the drafting. So we're trying to mitigate it by keeping distance to the other cars. Uh, but I think it's enough. So. But you, you can't avoid all uh, 
error. I mean, you can't eliminate all errors. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, call up the other car. Hello, yeah. Hi, I'm halfway to Olga, circa. Hvad er fabrikken dit? 11,8. Ja, jeg har 126 hver time per kilometer, så da leder du. Ok. Greit. Ha det. Ja, ha det. Right, so he has 111 watt hours per kilometer, so I have 126. The EAP is insane. <laughs> So we've driven 85 of the 110 kilometers and uh, we're just stopping for a short bit. Uh, let's see here, ah, it's the other way. Consumption in this car, in the Ionic, is uh, 113 watt hours per kilometer. <laughs> Extremely low, but um, yeah, these roads, there is no, there's no highway here or anything, so. Uh, let's check the E up. And uh, now we're in the E up. You can see the EAP is actually has a slight uh, under-reporting on the um, uh, distance here compared to the Ionic, but it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, consumption is now 108 watt hours per kilometer, so they're closing in. Uh, let's see who wins in the end. <laughs> it's only 15 kilometers more. I suspect the EAP. So. Uh, we have arrived at um, uh, Olgor, and uh, I can see this car is actually also under-reporting uh, compared to Google. Uh, Google said we should have um, 110 kilometers here. It's not that big a difference, but uh, let's see here. Oh, I need to go through all of these. 113 watt hours per kilometer. Uh, that's the goal to beat. Uh, let's see what the E up has. And also in this car, it reports 109 kilometers. So uh, maybe Google Maps uh, rounded up or something. I don't know. Uh, at least it seems like the cars uh, are at least uh, fairly comparative. But this one has 107 watt hours per kilometer. So the EAP wins. <laughs> However, I do think if we had driven this test on or done this test on the highway, the um, Ionic would have won. So. And also the Ionic charges a lot faster. <laughs> well, uh, we're gonna charge up a bit and uh, do shopping and stuff. So the, this is the end of the video. 
hope you enjoyed it and it was that it was informative. So I briefly mentioned that this car charges a lot more or, or a lot faster than the e up but what does it mean in practice? So right now I'm on the 150 kilowatt charger. Uh, the e up can't take more than 50 but it doesn't charge at 50 usually. You can see here I've been charging for a bit under 12 minutes. Ooh, that's a <laughs> bad break there. And I've received 12 and a half kilowatt hours. Let's see the e up. It started charging just about the same time as me. So the e up is on this 50 kilowatt charger. And it has received, it has charged maybe a minute more, and it has only received four and a half kilowatt hours. That means it's charging less than half speed of the Ionic. So for longer distances, the Ionic is actually faster, much faster, even if it's. Um, oh. <laughs> so much traffic here. Even if it has um, less initial range, and the same thing is true for the new uh, 38 kilowatt hour Ionic. If you need to charge, it charges about the same speed as this one, as the EUP. So it's funny that the 28 kilowatt hour uh, Ionic is actually better than the new version for long distance traveling. Just a little tidbit at the end there. <laughs>